what's up guys, Jordan here from 100 Tech Percent, and today we have one of um, the uh, first iOS third-party keyboards, and this keyboard is called TouchPal, and um, it's the first one to be on the iPhone, it is uh, still in beta version, and um, currently you can't get it, you have to wait till iOS 8 is actually released, but other than that, um, you can follow them on Twitter at TouchPal, and um, you may be invited as a beta tester, but they do not um, they do not guarantee that you will be able to get it. But uh, yeah, let's just take a quick look at it. It um, I'm just in the Notes app right here. It's uh, it's kind of like Swipe. If uh, all y'all Android users out there, it um, but the main difference is if you can see on top where the QWERTY line is right there, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and goes all the way to nine and then zero. You do not have to go to a different menu so that you can uh, put in your numbers. Pretty much all you have to do is swipe up. So it would be like one. Wait, I totally messed that up. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get the idea. And on this bottom one is some commonly used symbols like the at sign, the comma, the question mark, exclamation point. So if you're typing in somebody's email, you don't have to go all the way through and find that at symbol. So you just swipe down like so, and you can get all the symbols. And this is still a beta version, so there are some, um, some stuff that's not going to work immediately. Like currently, this keyboard does not work in landscape mode, as you can see in that frame right there. But um, this is a beta version. They're going to be coming out with multiple builds of it. So as this keyboard improves, I will be doing more and more videos about it. But uh, the cool thing about this is if you get kind of tired of it, you can always just click it. You can go to your emojis. And then you can go back to your uh, just regular Apple keyboard. So you can go back to the Apple keyboard. And I'm running iOS 8 Beta 2. And even the keyboard in iOS 8 Beta 2 has got some issues from Apple. As you can see, the um, especially in the Notes app, this uh, suggestions bar is cut in half. So, uh, yeah, there's um, all these new keyboards are having a little bit of issue. But um, real quick, I'm just going to show you how fast I can type um, with this and uh, how easy it is. It was a little bit tricky to get, um, to get down. It's kind of like, um, you know, back in the day when you got that new BlackBerry with that hard keyboard. It kind of took a little while to get used to it. But once you get used to it, um, it's pretty nice. So I'm just going to do this is a test for the Touch Pal keyboard. And that was pretty fast. It, um... As you can see, as soon as I typed in this, it knew that I was maybe going to say is, and then I clicked is, and then it said I was going to click, or said that I was going to type A. So it does give you suggestions like Apple's keyboard, but this is a lot. Um, it learns the way you uh, type and use words, so it learns like Apple's. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the, um, the uh, second pages of the TouchPal keyboard. Obviously, we have... Um, just some random symbols and these actually are pages so it has all these different symbols that you can type in same with up here several different pages and they also have the numbers in a bigger format and they also have your own um, emojis list which um, don't have any color on them they're just regular characters but um, it's cool that they added this in just uh, for the heck of it But, uh, yep, guys, that was the uh, quick look at the uh, TouchPal iOS third-party keyboard. Um, subscribe for future updates of this keyboard and uh, other third-party keyboards. I'll, I will be giving the review on the swipe and um, the other keyboards. And, um, you know, follow us on um, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And uh, leave a comment down below what you think of this keyboard and how it's going to stack up with Apple's keyboard and some future third-party keyboards. That's all for this video. See you next time, guys.